Hello and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle for Monday the 8th of February 2021. Welcome to a new week uh, for people who are looking back in time, wondering what was happening in the news um, today. Uh, tragedy has struck in northern India in Uttarakhand state. Um, Possibly 140 people have died. Uh, numbers are, you know, um, unconfirmed at the moment, but certainly a lot of people could have died um, when a glacier uh, broke. Where a Himalayan glacier has broken off, and uh, tragedy ensued. Um, of course, this is terrible tragedy and uh, large number of people. But let's not forget that in India, you know. 140 people, I mean, just a couple of days ago, that was the average daily total. I think it's dropped down to about 100 now, but uh, the average daily total just, just, just a week or two ago was around about that every day. So it's like we're seeing one of these terrible tragedies every day. So we really, everybody in the world needs to get rid of this uh, horrific COVID-19 as best we can. Okay, today's... Sudoku level is easy. It's an easy start to the week, so I'm going to hopefully welcome beginners today. Um, people who may never have played Sudoku before and may be wondering, what is that game? Why should I bother playing it? Um, isn't it a waste of time? Well, many things are a waste of time in life. Um, if everything, if the criterion for everything was that it must not waste my time. I don't think there'd be uh, too much activity left. I've just been listening to a documentary about the great jazz group Weather Report, one of my favorite groups. And of course, I was completely wasting my time, but not for me. <laughs> so, what is it? Sudoku is a game of logic. Do not worry if you are not good at maths. You don't need to understand maths at all. It's nothing to do with maths. Often when I say to people, hey, I play Sudoku, they say, oh, I'm no good at numbers. And, you know, I internally smile thinking, well, it's nothing to do with numbers. Numbers are just placeholders here to uh, um, just work out um, elements of logic. So how do we play it? Well, we have a very large area here. We call this a grid. And nine boxes or segments or areas, large, you see the, the heavy, bold line here. And within each of these regions, you need to. there are nine cells or squares, and you need to fill in all of them with numbers one to nine. Now, clearly there are only nine, nine numbers, so that means they can only appear one time each. Here we have one, two, five, and nine. It means we're missing three, four, six, seven, and eight. We don't have those, but those are the numbers that we fill in here. We call these columns, these rows, uh, these you know, coming down, cells coming down in a line are columns, cells going across are rows. In each column, we also need numbers 1 to 9. So, for example, we have 1, 2. We don't have 3 yet here. We do have 4. So it means we can't have it again. 9 we have, 8 we have, but we're missing some other numbers here. And in each row, we need numbers 1 to 9 as well. So that's it. So if you imagine... What makes, uh, how do we find the numbers? Well, we need to think about numbers that can only go in one location. For example, let's begin. Okay, so when you look at this nine in this row, you know that numbers one to nine have to appear in this row and they can only appear one time. So the nine cannot appear again in this row. So it can't come here, 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 or here, or here. And in particular, I'm going to focus on these two squares that it can't come in. So these two squares cannot be nine. Now, also in this column, similarly, you can see that we already have a 9. So 9 can't appear here, 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 anywhere else in this column. So that means that 9 will also block this square and this square. So if this 9 is blocking here and here, and this 9 is blocking here and here, there's only one square where a 9 can go. So we can write in that number in our main pen or pencil or however you want to do it. But we, we know that it has to be a 9 and it can't be anything else. Okay, I hope that made sense because that's basically how we play the game. So let's look again. Now I'm going to um, <coughs> point your attention away from this area. It doesn't mean that you have to keep looking here because you've got a number. It can, can be useful, but sometimes not. 
So let's see, we've got this 7 in this column here, and we've got a lot of numbers in this column. 7 cannot appear up here again. We also have a 7, the only 7, uh, so a 7 um, in this lower square here, and if we extend the column up, 7 can't come here or here. So these two are missing, uh, sorry, these two are prohibited from being 7, and so are these two. So a 7 is going to appear in that position there. That's how we play Sudoku. That's the basic outline of it. And so we cast our eyes around. We see in this top segment here, twos. We see a two blocking here, and a two blocking here, and a two blocking here, and a two blocking here. So if you kind of imagine drawing lines to, for, you know, to, to block out. So blocking, 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 blocking. There's only one square that is not blocked, so we know that it has to be a 2. Um, okay, so I'm looking around and trying to find uh, the same kind of thing. Um, okay, so 9 here goes along this row, and 9 here goes along this row. So when we consider this segment here, 9 is blocking here, 9 is blocking here, and 9's got to go here, like so. And now that will be useful, because that 9 that we've filled in here, we can extend that one down, meaning that these two squares are blocked by this 9, right, this column here. But in this row we have a 9, and here, earlier on we wrote in a 9 here. So now we have blocking, 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 so a 9's got to go here. So clearly the more numbers you fill in, uh, the fewer spaces are available. And these two 9's that we've written already, we can extend back up, so it's kind of up and down the grid here, 9 up, 9 up, there's a 9 going across, so there's only one location for a 9, and that's here. Um, actually, all of the 9s are now done in this puzzle, look here, in each segment, a 9 exists already, so we don't have to think about 9 anymore, it's, uh, it's already done. Alright, now, a slightly more advanced way of uh, looking at something. Um, let's begin by showing you another pattern as well. Uh, it, it's not really another pattern, it's just another thing to look at. But I want to look at this segment here, and um, I also want to look at this row here. All right. Now remember, numbers can only appear one time within a segment and within a row. So we have a 5 in this segment here, meaning it cannot appear in any other location, right? So that means it can't come here, 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 or here. So in particular, these three cells are excluded. Up here, we have 5 in this column, and this, if you bring this column down, it means that 5 cannot come anywhere else, meaning this square is also excluded. So 5 cannot come here, 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 or here. And over here, we have a 5 in this column, and if you bring that one down and imagine you know, its extension, you'll see 5 is being blocked here. So in fact, a 5 can only go here. So again, it's like um, you're just excluding possibilities. That's really how the game works. Uh, you know, as I said, once you've filled in numbers, you have fewer choices, fewer you know, possible locations. So now that we've filled in this 9, it will help us in this segment down here. So the one, this one here, if we extend across this row, and this one we extend across this row, um, we can fill in the one here because that's the only possible place it can go. Do you get that? Blocking, blocking. And this is how we go along. So I think you can see Sudoku is not difficult, and it is fun because you're searching for something and you find it, and the satisfaction comes in finding things that you are looking for. It's a kind of treasure hunt, I suppose. The treasure is not amazing. It's not pieces of gold, pieces of eight. It's not It's not anything, that, you know, It's not. you don't win huge amounts of money, unless you are, maybe, I don't know, maybe there is a professional Sudoku circuit where superstars win lots of money. I don't think so, though. Um, but the fun is just achieving what you are, you know, finding what you're looking for. This one that we just filled in, if we extend it up this column, and we have a one across this row, one across this row, so we are blocking here, blocking here, blocking here, there's only one 
position a one can go and it's there if we bring that one back down again you'll notice we're kind of swinging up and down up left and right and up and down the grid and this is what you need to do Cut, keep moving your eye around the one this one comes down this one goes up in terms of columns right blocking blocking so a one must appear in this location here so far I hope you'll agree it looks pretty easy now like we did before about this row here we noticed that five couldn't appear in any of these three cells earlier on now we'll see we have a two and the two can't appear in any of these three right because it's within this segment but I want to come back and focus on this row again because you'll notice that we also have a two down here and this two blocks this square from being a two Right? So no two, no two, no two, and there is only one square left, only one cell left, and so the two will have to go there. Um, if we look at more twos, we'll see this two coming down here, this two going up here, so block there, block there, and a two across this row blocking here. So blocked, 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 a two will have to go here. And uh, there's only one more two to get in this grid. It's going to be here. So I'll give you a chance to look at it. Look for the twos. There's a two coming down here, two coming down here, two across here, two across here. Right. These are the intersecting twos, which will block all squares except for that, except for <coughs> this one here. Right. Um, so. Um, I want to, hmm, should I help where to go next? I, I, I can see something, and uh, I would like to show you a, a slightly more uh, thoughtful way of doing things. All right. So uh, it kind of involves thinking ahead a little bit, okay? So uh, I want to I wanna put in a three in this segment, but I can see the three here blocks these two squares, but then it looks like I've got two possibilities. But in fact, I haven't, because if you try to think forward a little bit, if you imagine this three goes up here, right? Remember, all of this uh, column cannot contain a three now. That means in this segment here, three is going to come either here or here, right? Three must be here or here because it's blocking this three blocks these two squares. Well, now, if we consider those three, three will appear here or here. We don't know which, but it's going to be somewhere. Well, that's going to come down and block this square here, isn't it? So if we imagine that this 3 is blocking these two, and the 3 is here, will block this square, then that must be a 3. And this is how thinking forward a little bit can, can help you to um, find more numbers. Okay. Where do we go from here? Now, uh, you know, always... As I said, uh, you, you need to keep um, shifting your eyes around. If you can hear any meowing, I apologize. That's my cat, who is um, not a Sudoku player, but just uh, just trying to annoy me. Um, he's outside, making outside the room, making a lot of noise. Um, that's what you can hear, if you can hear it. Um... <clears throat> Okay, so in the same way that we just uh, okay, so well, not in the same way actually, but you could you could have worked it out. But this row uh, is missing four. Okay, we have one, two. We don't have a three yet. We don't have a four yet, and we don't have a six yet. So three, four, and six are the missing numbers. But we have a four in this segment already, meaning that four cannot appear here, here, or here. So in particular, these two squares. So this has to be a four. I'm still looking around and don't um, don't hurry you, you know there's no um, you know you need to give yourself plenty of time to play Sudoku especially when you're beginning um, you know it's a it's a game that consumes your time which is why people will often say well it's wasting time but 
that's an, a matter of opinion. All right, how about this? There are, uh, there's a four here going up this column here, there's a four here going up this column, and there is a four in this row blocking, so blocked, blocked, and blocked. So a four will appear up here. Right. Um, Okay, now I'm going to say that this is uh, also a 4, and you may be wondering why. Well, let's just see. It means that um, in this segment down here, let's consider number 4. 4 is blocking this square here. So 4 is going to appear either here or here. Maybe we don't know where at the moment, but we know that it has to come either here or here. If you like, this would be a good time to introduce what we call candidates. So I'm going to write in 4, like this, in small numbers. Now you could use a pencil and later on uh, you can rub the numbers out if you need to. Or you can use a pen and cross them out later when you need to. But I'm going to just put in what we call candidates. That means 4 has to appear either here or here because it can't come here. Now if we extend these 4s up this column, like so, right? and this 4 across here, so extend these 4s up here, blocking these two squares, and there's a 4 here blocking this square. I know that this has to be a 4 here. Now, uh, if we look at 5 for this section, this segment here, okay, there's a 5 here. We don't have a 5 here yet, okay? But 5 is blocking this square here from being a 5. So that's also either, that also has to appear either here or here. So we're going to write that in 4 and 5. Now, when we have two pairs of numbers like this, a 4 and a 5, and a 4 and a 5 in two squares, it means that's it. It can't go anywhere else. 4 or 5 can't go anywhere else. And also, it means that no other number can go in these squares. So by process of elimination, let's count through 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 is our missing number. We don't have a 6. 7, 8, 9 we have. 6 is our missing number. And that's the number that we can fill in there. I hope, you, hope that made sense to you. Um... Okay, I don't want to go too quickly, um, but um, you know we have to go. I don't want the video to be too long either. Um, so, all right, let's. We, we can get. We can find out which ones of these uh, is is correct by by concentrating on this se segment here. So, this four comes down here. There's no 4 in this segment, right? There's 4 in this column here, blocks this square and this square. There's a 4 down here, blocking this square. So blocked, blocked. There is a 4 here, 4 blocks this square. So we know within this segment here, that is a 4. Now if we remember that we just put in 4 and 5, 4 and 5 here, we know now that that 4 can't be true it means that 4 is going to appear here, and 5 is the other number for that cell. Uh, so again, like about candidates, okay, let, let me show you a bit more. Uh, this 5, if you imagine this 5 blocks this square and this square, so we know the 5, actually there is only one more number, <laughs> I was going to say 5 appears here and here, but I just noticed there is only one more number in this row anyway. So we can count through 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We don't have a 5. So it, a 5 appears here, like so. When we extend that 5 up, let's look at this uh, central sector. When we extend the 5 up, that square is blocked. We extend this 5 down, those two squares are blocked. This 5 here on this row blocks these. So blocked, blocked, blocked. That's the only position a 5 can go. Um, all right, we're going quite nicely. You can see we filled in a lot of the numbers already. There are two numbers missing here. 
uh, shall we find out what they are fill in the candidates because since there are three missing numbers from this segment and these two we can find out what they are because there are only two missing from this column we must be able to find out this number even if we're not sure about the order of these two so what numbers are missing we have one two three four five we don't have six seven we don't have eight so these two numbers are six and eight so we're going to write them in as candidates six and eight and now we can find the missing number so one two is there a three anywhere no if you want to double check four five six seven eight nine so it's three that's missing and so that's the number we can write in now um, we have we can find out these numbers here uh, again we may not know the order but we can fill in the candidates so uh, missing from here is one we don't have a one in this column two three four five six seven eight we don't have an eight so a one and an eight are missing in this column we check across to see if we have any intersecting ones or eights and we don't so we're going to fill in one eight as candidates like this now uh, very often in sudoku there's more than one way of finding numbers um, now either you could do this exactly the same thing with this column here one two three we don't have a four five uh, we don't have a six so four and six are the missing numbers right or you could just do it within here one two three we don't have four five we don't have six so four and six are the missing numbers so we know four and six are the missing numbers but remember to check to see if there are any intersecting and guess what there's a four here meaning four cannot go here so we know that four goes here and six is our other number so we can fill that in like so. <clears throat> All right. Um, I hope it's uh, appealing to you. Uh, of course, this is something you really have to do, um, you know, for yourself. I mean, watching videos to explain how to play Sudoku is great, and also learning techniques um, when you've when you've got the basic idea down. Um, you know, learn some more techniques about about uh, logic and, and what can apply in various positions but this is something you really need to do for yourself um, I can help to in, you know infuse you a little um, but you have to try it for yourself really um, okay what else is going on here um, let's see. Um, so I could start filling in uh, the missing candidates. Oh, there, there are two numbers missing here. What are they? I see again. So there are three missing um, squares in this segment. And two of them, we can find out what they are because they're in the same row. So we can definitely know for sure what this number is. So what do we have? One, two. We don't have a three, four, five. We don't have a six. So three and six are the missing numbers. Check. Are there any threes or sixes intersecting? No. So we're going to fill in three and six as our candidate pair. And then we can just find out the missing number because there's only one left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's an eight. We've got nine. So eight is our missing number. Now that we've filled in this eight, especially now that we've got some, some candidates filled in, we remember to check. So we had either a one or an eight here. And so now this eight can't be here. Right? And there's only one position for eight now, and there's only one position for a one now. So that goes there. This one that we just filled in blocks these two squares from being a one. There's a one down here, right, blocking this square. So blocked and blocked. So there's only one location for a one in this row. There's only one number left, so we can find out what it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven we don't have. Eight, nine is okay. So seven is our missing number. We can put that in right now. Um, now this column here has two numbers missing. One, two, three is missing. Four, five, six is missing. Uh, three and six are, are missing here. Um, but I'm not going to put them in as a, as a pair of numbers at the moment. That would be a mistake to do what I've just did here because they are not within the same region, the same segment here. They are in different regions. 
Um, and for that, we might need a slightly different technique. Um, so I won't do that, um, but I will fill in these two candidates here. So we have one, two, three we don't have, four, five, six we don't have, so seven, eight, nine. So three and six are the missing numbers here. Check if any are intersecting. No, they're not. So let's fill in three and six here, like this. Um, okay, what's up next? Um, okay, let's maybe come down here one, two. Uh, okay, this eight here. You extend it along, blocks the eight from this row here. No eight, no eight, and we have an eight here, blocking that position there. So eight has to appear here, like so. Um, when we extend that eight up. We'll see it blocks this square here. We have another 8 here blocking this square and this square. So in this segment here, 8's block here, 8's block here, meaning there's only one position and 8 can go. It's got to go there. Meaning that this must be 8, right? Because in this top row here, we have two squares missing, right? 6 and 8. So this has got to be either 6 or 8 also. But we know that it can't be 8 because we already have an 8 in this segment. So we couldn't put another 8 there. And this was either 6 or 8. So therefore, it has to be 8. It can't be anything else. And we are overwriting the number 6, which we wrote down as part of our pair. And if you check, there's no other 6, no six in this box yet. So we can fill that in like so. All right, and now... Uh, I'm going to show you something else. So this 6 blocks these two squares here, right? And so we could fill in 6 as candidate here and here. Now there's another number as well, but I don't want to focus on that at the moment. I just want to show you that 6 is blocking here. Now if you see 6 and 6 and 6 and 6 as pairs, and they are not in a particular column, right, but they're in different segments, well then this third segment must have the 6 in the other column. This is true for rows, uh, you know, if you do it the other way around for rows as well. Let me explain that again. If 6 and 6 appear exclusively here or here, or here or here, whether or not we've got 6s, uh, um, sorry, le uh, let me say that again. If a 6 or 6 has to appear in a central column or, and a right-hand column like this, 6, 6, 6, 6, then whether these, this 4 or 8 were here or not, we would have to have a 6 somewhere in this left-hand column. It, it just has to be, right? Because we, we have, because we know that 6s cannot appear in these three or these three cells. Uh, actually, there is only one free location now, so we know that that's going to be a 6 anyway. Um, the missing number from this column is 1, 2, 3 is our missing number. And so we can fill in the three right now. Um, I could put in the other missing candidate here. What is it? One, two, three. Oh, sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven is our other missing number, right? From here. We have eight, nine. We don't have seven. Are there any intersecting sevens? No. So we'll put in our seven here, six, seven. And we must be able to find this number now because it's the only one missing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's an eight. So let's fill in the eight. Um, okay, there's only one number missing up here. What is it? One, two, three, four, five. It's a six. We don't have a six, so we'll fill in a six there. And since we just did that six, let's bring that six down and say, hey, we can't have a six there. Get out six. So erase it if you're writing in pencil. Cross it out if you are using a pen. And it has to be a three. And our six has to go there. There is only one number missing in this column here. One, two, three. Three is our missing number. And so we'll fill it in. Um, it's going to get a bit noisy, I'm afraid. The microphone. A uh, truck is coming around, a pickup truck with a microphone selling something is about to come around the corner. I can hear them, so if you hear some strange noises on your in your earphones or whatever, here they come. 
Okay, one, two, three, four. Oh. One, two, three, four, uh, five and seven are the missing five. We have six, we don't have seven. So five and seven are the missing numbers here. Five and seven. Are there any intersecting fives and sevens here? Uh, no. So we'll fill them in. Five and seven. And how about down here? One, two, three, four, five we don't have, six, seven we don't have, five and seven missing again. But we notice that we have a five blocking the five from appearing here. Okay, this five here says no way. So five will have to appear in this square and seven will have to appear in this square. Now we just wrote five and seven as a pair, so we can see that one must be seven and that one must be five. There's only one number missing in this row and this row, so we can find out what they are. One, two, three is missing. Let's fill it in. And in this row here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven is missing. So we'll fill in seven. And we've only got four squares to do. You can see that these numbers that are intersecting will disallow. So the seven will disallow seven there, meaning that's a six and that's a seven. And the 6 will disallow a 6 from there, so that's a 3, and that's a 6. And that's how we solve Sudoku. So if that's your first ever Sudoku puzzle, congratulations. Um, you have to try it yourself, though. This is something you can learn by watching, but learn by doing is a much better and necessary uh, thing concerning Sudoku. I uh, hope you have a good week. Um, I'll see you again tomorrow morning. Thank you. Bye.